when you got in the game, you know, you, you're, you're Vlad, right? But there were established entities out there that were mainstay in hip hop. You had the XXLs, the Sources, Hot 97, just, you know, they're all rushing and they're doing stuff online. Obviously, you survived, you weathered the storm, but every year, every day, especially now in COVID, there's so many more people interviewing. How do you feel just about competition overall? I've never cared about competition. Like, this, this, this is not a, this is not the NBA Finals where they can be one winner. You know, like this, this is, this is worldwide to billions of people in hundreds of countries, uh, and everyone is going to build their own audience. You know, like when Jesse Smollett, you know, faked the whole the whole noose thing and there's a video of the police showing up to his house and he still has the noose around his neck. There, there was a, a bunch of people that to this day still believe him and say that, no, he really got attacked by these MAGA, MAGA wearing, you know, hat <laughs> wearing racists and he's totally innocent. You know, so, so you're going to find a following, especially on the internet, no matter what you do or how you do it, as long as you keep putting out consistent quality content. You know, I mean, Alex Jones with Infowar, with all the nonsense that he talks, he, he's got a following. Yeah. So I've always looked at it as like, I'm not competing against other people. I'm competing against myself. I'm trying to create the, 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 the you know, the best content. You know, if I ever see someone else, I might feel some type of way like, damn, they got this artist and I, I couldn't get them. I, I might be mad at that, but just not mad at them, just mad that I couldn't pull it off through whatever you know, networking or whatever else I had to do myself. So uh, it, it, does, it doesn't matter. There, there's going to be competition and, uh, there, you know, people are now interviewing, you know, uh, celebrities on IG Live and that's cool, but there's also no money in it. There's literally zero dollars in that. Um, you know, Instagram was talking about monetizing, you know, uh, Instagram TV, IG TV later on. But at this point, you know, Shout out to Fat Joe. He's getting really dope interviews, but he's also not making a penny off of them, right? <laughs> um, so, so there's always going to be new things. There's always going to be different platforms. There's always going to be new people to do it. What I do is not so unique that there that thousands of other people couldn't do the same thing. Uh, but what I have done is I have built up, you know, over four million subscribers on on YouTube. I've got whatever a million subscribe, you know, followers on Facebook. I've got half a million on, on Instagram. I have a website that gets, you know, a million people a month to go to it. And, and I have pla followers and fans or whatever viewers or whatever you want to call them that when I put out something that's good, there's people there that's going to consume it. And that's the only thing that really worries me. Not the, not the competition. Got you. Vlad, how big is your team? Uh, about a dozen people. Okay, so it's still a small business. Yeah. yeah. How are you getting these people? Because you get some really great interviewees. You know, you just had the guy who um, killed Michael Jordan's father. Yeah. You've had so many interviews, and, and I look, and I'm like, damn, how, like, how big is that team? Is it now that people just want to interview on Vlad TV, or do you guys still have to work for these interviews? I mean, it's both, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, like the the guy you mentioned, um, you know, the guy who killed Jordan's father, uh, Daniel Green. That started off with a DM from a guy that knew his sister, right? And then he gave me his sister's phone number. I connected with the sister and I had to stay on her for a couple months until she finally connected me with him in prison. And then we kind of got the ball rolling after that. Um, so sometimes people approach us because we, we now have a, a reputation of being in business for a dozen years. And, you know, if you're into hip hop culture, you, you've probably seen at least a few Vlad TV interviews over the years. So people approach us, PR companies approach us, rappers themselves approach us, you know, whether it's a DM or an email or they hit my assistant or whatever else. But, but best believe every day we're also chasing after people as well. Still you know, to this um, day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I wish my job was as easy as, okay, 
who who should I book today out of these dozen people that reach out to us? But no, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. Like we're still we're still out there chasing after people, hitting up you know people directly, PR companies, networking. I'm hitting up you know other other you know interviewers. I'll hit them up and say, oh, I saw you interview so and so. Can you get me his contact? You know, and if you need anyone from my end, I'll, I'll help you out. You know, I'll, I'll pass along info as well. And sometimes it's just like, I'll know the person, you know, me and Chuck have been talking, Chuck D from Public Enemy, have been talking about doing an interview for 10 years now. We did one 10 years ago. And for 10 years, we've been talking about doing another one. And then finally, a few months ago, he's like, okay, now I'm ready. So, so it's, it's literally a 10 year process of hitting this man up every few months to keep getting a no over and over again until <laughs> finally get a yes. It ends up being an epic three hour interview. So, wow. you know, and, and sometimes it's just like, you know, cause look, as, as an entrepreneur, you're, you never really stop working. So at night I'm watching Netflix and I'll watch some documentary and I'll say, huh, that's an interesting person. Let me go read, yo, Kente, you know, my assistant. I'm like, yo, hit up so-and-so. And you know, and I'll be watching whatever, a, a TV show. Oh, that guy looks interesting. Let, let, let's, let's hit him. You know, let, let's try to hunt, you know, find him. Or sometimes I'll be watching someone else's interview. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I bet you I can interview him and get a, a completely different uh, story out of him, you know, uh, with, with my style of interviewing. So it's those types of things. You know, we, 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 we definitely monitor our competition. You mm -hmm. know, we have like editor reviews to see who else is out there. Cause at the end of the day, if someone's on a promo run, you know, it's, you'll have a slightly easier time to try right. to get that as opposed to if that person is in like focusing on their album or focusing on a movie. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share peace and love.